We've got a leopard on the hunt. She's in a different female's territory. Anything can happen from here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at her stalk, Taylor. She's got one. My name is Taylor. My name is Tristan. As two fellow rangers, we know the value of being a ranger. Together, Tristan and Taylor are seeking out the world's best rangers, those special people who can help bring us close to our truly wild spaces. For Tristan and Taylor, it's about sharing stories and new ideas. They are hoping to explore more of the natural world and learn how to better protect it by listening to their fellow rangers and their unique points of view. Welcome to Ranger Exchange. Tristan and Taylor have traveled to the Sabi Sands, one of the best places in the world to find leopards. They arrived at Kirkman's camp to meet up with Josh and Jerry, a ranger and tracker team with years of experience and a special love for this mystifying cat. Heading out, Josh and Jerry were anxious. Due to the COVID-19 lockdown, the number of visitors has declined, meaning there are less rangers out looking for these cats, causing a drastic decline in leopard sightings. And now they have limited time to find these cats with Tristan and Taylor. They don't know where any of the leopards are. They haven't seen them for a couple of weeks. Hopefully with the help of trusty Jerry, we'll be able to find one. Jerry's role as a tracker is extremely vital. He sits on front of the vehicle, the best place to spot any animals or animal tracks, while helping Josh navigate the terrain. Jerry and I have been together now for four and a half years. I'll never know as much about this place as Jerry knows. So I take all of my cues from him, everything I've learned about animal behavior, I've all learned it from him. After hours of searching with no leopard in sight, they receive a tip-off. Bushback drive, close to Cake Crossing. One here. Copy. Thanks very much. We'll be joining you shortly. They found the leopard. Okay, then we need to turn around now and, and go straight away. Now, it's a race against time. We're darting through all the Phragmites, all these tall reeds in the, the Sand River to head up just around the bend. Hopefully we'll get to see it. Hey, copy, Josh. Um, it's better if you come in from the north of the sighting through the block and we'll get up in front of her. No ways. This is insane. Jerry, do you know who this is? Unbelievable. Yeah. Josh, do you have visual? They are affirmative, relocated her. She's just gone stationary. Guys, this is absolutely incredible. We've got a leopard on the hunt. She's in a different female's territory. Anything can happen from here. She's being alarm called by monkeys, but the monkeys' alarm call has actually triggered some warthogs to start running because the warthogs don't know what's going on and they're actually moving down towards the leopard at the moment. Oh my goodness, look at that! I wouldn't be surprised that this warthog maybe even tries to chase her. Oh my goodness, what's big enough? Oh, you just see <laughs> <laughs> There's two piglets just on the other side. Is she going around to get the piglets? She is. Look at her stalk, Taylor. It almost looks just like she's sizing up each individual warthog. It's just trying to kind of figure out which one she wants. If she wants to make a move, she's going to have to make it quickly, huh? A warthog can be just as much of a threat to the leopard as a leopard to a warthog. One cut from a warthog tusk at this point in her life and she won't heal. No. I want her to get a meal, but I understand that if she gets thrashed by this warthog sow, this could really be the end of her. A rare standoff ensued between a hungry leopardess who has strayed from her usual territory and a mother warthog trying to defend her piglets. Next place from here is to go into her burrow. If she goes into the burrow now with those piglets walking past after her, that could be a, a bad situation. The leopard's body language, mm. incredibly alert. See her head is up, her tail is flat, she's focused on those piglets. It actually looks like she's dripping a bit of saliva there as well, so she must be getting quite frustrated with this whole mm. situation. Oh, she's going. She's backing herself into a hole. The mother warthog has gone down the burrow and the babies have to follow her. Don't know, wait, wait, go wait. They're in strike range and the leopard is salivating. She's got one! 
That's insane. unbelievable. I haven't seen her front paws. Do you think maybe she's got it pinned? There was a squeal. Oh, oh I think she might have. She might have it in her front paws. This is insane. This is madness. Oh, no, she's missing. Look how disappointed she is. Oh, that mother's going to come out there in a moment. This is why leopards are better, Taylor. Okay, no, no, this is why this leopard is better. No, this leopard's in general. Look at those eyes now. She's covered in dust. Shame, girl. I'm tingling all over right now. This has been the most unbelievable. My heart know, the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Hey, Jerry? Yeah. Four and a half years together. This is the equivalent of winning the lottery. Okay. In yeah. nature terms. I mean, it's yeah. just the chances of this are so slim. As far as, as leopard sightings go, this does not get any better than this. <laughs> Life out here is on a thread all the time, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's millimeters that has, she's just missed battle for life and death on both sides here. Yeah. As rangers yourselves, you guys must know how often you watch something like this unfold and it just peters out. Yeah. Warthogs move away, leopard goes to sleep, sun sets, life continues. Yeah. But to see that unfold, <laughs> just think this kind of stuff, what we've just seen, is happening throughout the entire Kruger National Park, throughout the Sabi Sands, and not everyone gets to see it. No. Yeah. Into the life of a leopard, and to see something like that, makes it worth all the hours, all the sweat, all the, the effort to, to be out here and find these cats on a day-to-day -day basis. Over the past year, the rhythm of rangers' work in the bush and their interplay with their conservation efforts has been thrown off due to the COVID-19 lockdown. And now today, despite the parks being open, the loss of revenue has a huge impact on conservation. For me, like I'm super emotional because Yes, it's been hard, hey, for me the last couple of months. And this has like really ignited my passion again for like being in the bush and like guiding and stuff. Like at one point this year I was like, maybe I must just leave. But this, I feel like I've got this second wind. Yeah, very cool. Moments like this and shared with people makes it more more real I mean, yeah that's it though and that if we don't preserve these areas if we don't make the sacrifices that we do on a daily basis how, how do other people get to escape from the hustle and the bustle of the cities well not only that but who knows if this stuff will ever be around for people to see exactly and just going on a safari is just it's something else like for me there's no words to describe it it's it's just a feeling On their final day, straight out of camp, Jerry spots a leopard, proving why the Sabi Sands is the best place to find these felines. <laughs> Can I, this is honestly ridiculous. This is absolutely unbelievable. We've just left camp. We've already bumped into a leopard. There is nothing more special than when you get a big cat like this walking past the vehicle. The Sabi Sands is one of the best places in the world to see these elusive cats. And the reason for that is, over many generations, the leopards here have slowly become more and more comfortable with the presence of vehicle. And they do all the stuff that they would usually do, almost as if we weren't here. But this leopard was not sticking around. They lost it just as quickly as they found it. This is what is amazing about a leopard. One minute they're there, the next minute they're gone. To wrap up their time with Josh and Jerry, they head down to the Sand River, the best spot to talk about conservation. We were so spoiled to see that leopard, to have that interaction, and not only that, but just also being in a place like this and having excellent rangers and trackers that take you along that journey that just makes it a mind-blowing experience. Just also spending time with the two of you, people who are so passionate about what they do that they give every single day to spend it out here and keep preserving these areas. You really did reignite my passion for being out in the bush. Thanks Taylor. You know just by being able to share moments and experiences like this 
uh, we're able to spread the good word and educate people and this is the perfect place to showcase it this is one of the places where leopards are so well protected the population is flourishing and we can show people what really happens when you protect such an incredible cat and the ecosystems that that cat resides in. I think both of us have found something that maybe we've, we've potentially lost over the years. Sometimes you forget about some of the things that really make you passionate and it's why sitting with another ranger and experiencing something with another ranger is always so special. Thank you Tristan, thank you Taylor. Thanks very much guys. <laughs> it has been wonderful. If you are interested in following the lives of the leopards at the Sabi Sands, reach out on social media to And Beyond Kirkmans. Thank you for watching this episode of Ranger Exchange here on Brave Wilderness. Don't forget to comment below and share this episode with your friends. And remember, be brave, stay wild. We will see you on the next adventure.